Hello everybody, it's Lucas McIntosh here and I'm back with some more Tomb Raider 2 for the PC. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos, I really appreciate it. If you are indeed enjoying my content and would like to see more then, why not hit that subscribe button because I do a wide variety of content each and every month, from health and fitness to lifestyle, topics and discussions of interest and of course retro gaming. Okay, I am on the wreck of the Maria Doria and once again this is commentary done after I filmed the gameplay. This is one of the longest and toughest levels in the game. Uh, it's tough not because of the enemies but because of the puzzles that you have to solve. There are many puzzles here that you have to solve. You can't get away from it. We have to pick up at least three keys. I think there's three circuit breakers we need to find. We need to push and pull a load of switches, move a load of blocks and get through a load of time doors and trap doors mm -hmm. as well. So uh, we'll pick up the large medipack there and we will save the game. Now we need to get down into the main room. So this room that we're going to, you can see there's breakable tiles there. Once we drop down into that room, it basically leads us to two routes. Well, actually three. One leads to the set of burners that we need to turn off with the circuit breakers, but we can't actually do anything in, in that room yet. But I will show that off to you a little bit later on. Um, I suppose it's good to kind of go there so you kind of know what you have to do, but uh, where would the fun be in that? <laughs> this level is so long that it can be really difficult to know what you're supposed to do at any given time. First thing we're going to do though is take out these thugs. As you can see I've just uh, taken them out with a minimum of fuss. Uh, the first mm -hmm. one has dropped a small med pack, we'll take that, and the second one I think drops automatic pistol clips, which are going to be very very useful. Useful, uh, for some of the tougher baddies on this stage once again I do actually think that this level compared to the PlayStation and mm -hmm. subsequent levels have got more baddies than on than in the PlayStation version I swear the PC version is slightly tougher uh, because of that but as I said the enemies go down quite easily you just got to remember to stay out of their way all right so we're in this really dark area now um, I know you can't really see what's going on <laughs> basically <laughs> Um, what I need to do is there's these green blocks that I need to push and pull out of the way in order to um, create two routes so one of them leads to a series of doors and switches and the other one into the ballroom I believe so let's just get these blocks out of the way so yeah, you've got to get used to it. Uh, Tomb Raider, as I said, it's all about puzzles, and trust me, as I was doing this, I was like, oh my god. You know, each time I thought I'd get to the end, there was always like a little bit more to do, and a little bit more. Um, I have to say, though, it is really well done. The fact that you can save anywhere really helps. I mean, compared to Tomb Raider 3, um, I kind of think now that the developers in Tomb Raider 3 were, were trying a bit too hard. They wanted to create really really long levels and interactive um, stuff you know and try and create something innovative but it just doesn't work because they're a little too long I mean the level here I mean this I would say is long but it's nowhere near Tomb Raider 3 uh, length so let's just concentrate on getting these blocks out of the way and crack on with this adventure so I wasn't looking forward to the ship levels at all um, but this one kind of changed my mind. I actually grew to love this level. I thought it was really, really well done. I like the decor and the different areas within the ship. So, check it out. This is the first route. Now, this route here leads us to, the, to one of the circuit breakers, but we can't get it yet. There is a nifty little trick to getting it. Um, but we can't do anything here. It's all to do with keeping a trapdoor open and closed, I think. But, um, I believe you can get the circuit breakers in any order, so, um, I think the one in here is the one that I'm going to get last. Because, I'll be honest with you, I didn't know I was looking for circuit breakers when I started up this level. I was like, okay, uh, there's obviously going to be some keys to collect. I just thought it was another one of those, but yeah... Um, this level I can compare to the, is it the Midas level in Tomb Raider, where Lara has to turn silver bars into gold. It's kind of a lot like that, 
in a way because you've got like a main hub area and you need three items to put in there the only difference is you're not turning things to gold would be cool if you could though in this stage but it's a little bit more um, logical here right again these bloody blocks get used to it on this stage there's just no getting away from it let's push that block in and let's pull this block this way and then we'll push it towards the wall and create the other route So the first thing we need to do, I believe, is we need to get the restroom key. Um, the restroom key is actually, I think it's in this area here somewhere. And I think this corridor leads to the ballroom. Oh, here we go. Peter Cox and his wrench. Take him down. Take him down. He's shot him. Look at that. There's like three thugs here. Uh, I'm not messing around now. I'm just going to wipe them out. Luckily, I've got automatic pistols, so it'll make mincemeat out of these thugs. Uh -huh. Let's pick up what they've got, take their items, and let's not mess around here. Uh -huh. Oh, lovely. So this is a great area to pick up med packs if you've not picked up any. So a nice, nice time to stock up if you need to. So yeah, lots of devious Crystal May style puzzles here, if not a little bit more brutal. You know, you've really kind of got to be on your A game here and have make sure you've got um, a cup of coffee next to you because you're going to need it if you've never done this before. Uh, as I said, it's it's tough, but not for the baddies. It's just the puzzles. And look at that, the spikes there, shards of glass. Um, this level's got everything, really. Um, and it's a case of just figuring out what to do. Right, there's a thug up there we need to take down. I think he's got the key, possibly. And now I think there's also a switch up here as well. But it's all about figuring out how to get up here. So I wanted to leave a lot of this in. And me just struggling. Because I think this was... This brought back a lot of memories when I was a kid. Because when I did this level, this is exactly what I did. The same thing. I was running about this room. And I knew that I could get up there. But you've got to find the right ledge. Or the right way up. And that can be a little bit difficult if you don't think you can climb up. I mean, my, my natural instinct was, oh, obviously I can't get up here yet. Um, maybe later on in the level I can find a way up. But no, you can get up here. But as you can see, I'm running about like a madman or mad lady uh, trying to figure it out. But it can be done. I'm just also looking around for any med packs or any kind of ammunition. So you've got like raised uh, raised platforms on the floor as well. So And some of them are quite deceptive. They make you think you can climb up. But that's why you think you can't because some areas are like, yeah, you can climb up. But no, you can't uh, most of the time. Oh, hello. Check it out. Oh, the key's down here, isn't it? Okay, my mistake. Um, check it out. So, so drop down here and grab on. Do not drop to the floor because there's spikes down there, glass spikes. So, drop down and grab and check it out. I think this is the restroom key. Uh -huh. Possibly. So, we're going to save it here because we need to um, get up and out of here. And I don't want to kind of drop down and get splattered by the spikes. Okay, grab, up, boom. Okay, now carefully walk, don't run because your feet will be cut to ribbons. Right, okay. Run, 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 as fast as you can. So now I've got the key. I can literally pop into the other room. So... I can climb up here, but what I'm thinking is um, I can't go anywhere yet, even if even if I do manage to climb up, because I need to open a door, I think, in this room. And the way to do that, I think, is back the way that we came. Um, so let's just have a little uh, have a little think. And now I'm getting confused because I'm like, what? Where am I supposed to go? But I do think that. 
as long as this level is, I do think it, it kind of does push you in the right direction because I've got a terrible memory when it comes to Tomb Raider. So like I'll pick something up and I'm just not really sure what it's for or I'll lose where I'm supposed to be. I had a lot of problems in the offshore rig remembering where a certain pass card was even though I'd already been through that area. But this one I remembered because there's a keyhole here. So that's how I remember this bit. It sounds I know it sounds really obvious and like, well, of course, obviously, there's a keyhole there. But there's like several keys you need to collect in the stage. And this is confusing. Look at that. So you want to open this set of double doors here. Oh, hello. Another wrench throwing baddie. So I'm just going to back off. Back up, I should say. Um, has he got anything on him? No, but he's done a David Blaine. He's kind of floating on the block, I think. And these double doors open. And there's another switch, so push this switch. Save the game. Right, and this opens the door in the ballroom, so... That's back in the room we've just been in. So, at least I know that. Just need to turn Lara around. And look at that. There's just like tons of switches here. That's the most, I think, annoying thing. Well, not so much annoying, but confusing. It's like, why are there so many switches? It doesn't look like they do anything. And, uh, you know, I was feeling a little bit like everything was getting on top of me at this point i was feeling a little bit stressed i was like my god how many switches do i have to pull as i said you think collecting three circuit breakers would be enough to complete the level but it's not you have to do a lot more than you think on this stage right so we're back in this room again and once again <laughs> the joke is how do i get up here what am i supposed to do I've got to got to figure this out. So now I know the door is opened. There's got to be a way up somehow. So if I can figure this out, it's probably it's probably really simple. There's probably like an area I can just hop up to. Um, as I said, you've got to be really observant when playing Tomb Raider games, and <laughs> I'm not. I'm kind of not doing that at the moment. I'm a little bit kind of lost. So those ones with railings, you definitely. Oh, there you go. I'm up now. I was going to say the bit to the left you can't actually climb up because it's a railing. I think um, we can actually drop down and shimmy as well to get to the other side of the uh, ballroom. So we can probably do that I think. But was this where the thug was possibly? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. If it was he's probably disappeared. It might be on the other side where we need to go. This is incredibly cool though because I, I thought I'd have to do this a little bit later on so it's good that I'm able to do that now. So let's shimmy to the left. And I like anything like this in Tomb Raider games. It just, everything feels like so secretive. Right, there's another area we can shimmy across as well. So we can shimmy twice and there's that open door as well which leads into another series of rooms. So yeah, it's uh, this is one of those levels you, you just got to kind of knuckle down and get on with. Right, there's Mr. Thug. He's been shot dead. Now, did he leave anything for Lara to pick up? Oh, yes, uh -huh. he did. Automatic pistol clips, we'll take that. And we'll just check out the rest of this, um, this area. Aha! Now, can I do a running jump to that bit? I'm going to save it because I don't want to have to fall down and then have to get back up i can just load up my file if it goes peak tongue and there we go i've made it and check it out there's the first circuit breaker beautiful so that's one of three that we uh -huh. need so we're doing well that's um that's part of the journey done there's only two more to find and they are pretty easy to find to be honest i would say the last one I think depending on which order, I I think you can kind of get them in any order, I'm not sure, but the one in the restroom behind the doors, that's the hardest one to figure out, even though the solution is simple, but 
we don't know the solution yet. Well, at least I do, but I don't want to kind of give it away yet. Um, I want to kind of wait until we get to it because if I tell you now, it's just really confusing. Uh, it's best to concentrate on what we're doing because there's so much to do. And if I don't want to bombard you with too much information. So we've got the first circuit breaker. <clears throat> it's all groovy now. So with the open door, we can pop up here and there's, I think, several doors in another area that we need to open and some I think some rooms here are just dead ends there's a keyhole so it looks like we're gonna need another no. key I thought I'd try the circuit breaker but now the circuit breaker doesn't work right this first door I think might be a red herring but we'll open it anyway just to make sure as I said, if you don't check all the areas, you might miss keys or vital objects. That's the only thing. So I'm just dropping down carefully because thugs have been known to come into the room and take me down. But like, there's nothing in here. I, I've no idea what the purpose of this room is. I think it's just filler, really. So, right. Can't do anything there. That's that established. Right, there's this door here. I think this is the only way we can go now. So it looks like this will be the uh, the right door. Save it again. Beautiful. Right, movable block. So yeah, more more block pulling. I have to do a little bit of that in this area in order to get to where we need to be. Come on, Lara, move that block. Right, and ah, to that switch, that's what we need to do, right. Let's get behind it. Okay, let's, let's just push it. Okay, over there to that switch. So yeah, we will be encountering some timed doors and timed trap doors a little bit later on. Uh, highly annoying, but it's just part of the charm, I suppose. Um, you do kind of get used to it, I want to say, but um, you have to kind of be ready for anything on this stage. Or just push this block forward. Pull switch. This opens something up above, a door up above, I think, see? But in order to get up there, we need to pull another block out the wall. Alright, so let's do that. I'm hoping there's not a third block I need to get. I, I don't think I will, but I think I might, I should just be able to reach it. Yeah, it looks like I will. Let's save it there anyway. Good. Okay, up. Right, drop down. Move forward. I want to be careful here. You never know what's around the corner. Right, this area, I think this is the one with the... It might be the one with the barrels and the uh, breakable tires. I'm not sure. I hope not, but... I just can't remember. All these rooms kind of look similar to be honest. Is this the one? We've got the narrow corridor here. Oh yes. Thug anyway. We'll take down the thug. Alright, has he got anything for me? No, I don't think he has. We'll keep moving forward. I'm just gonna walk here. Right, what's this area? Ah, uh, there's a door there. Oh, it's another another block puzzle and another switch. So yeah, they loving their block puzzles, they are. They are loving them on this stage. You just gotta crack on with it. So let's just push this block into position, pull the switch, and this should open the door. Oh, hello, there's a key down there. This is the rusted uh -huh. key, I believe. And this opens the lock we saw at the beginning of this section. So that's good. I almost missed that then. Save that there. 
And we'll push. Oh, move out of the way. Come on. Get back in position, Lara. Come on. There we go. See, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Why am I running around like a maniac? I think I was just like double checking that I was actually supposed to do this. I tend to do that a lot on Team Red Games. So I just run around for the sake of it. Right, get up. Pull that switch. I'm going to have to tell myself off. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Right, okay, door opens. And this leads us back into the beginning of the corridor, I believe. So we just got to find that lock. Now, there's that door. I think that's where we come in. No, that's where... That's the end of the corridor. This is the beginning. Right, put the rusted key in this lock. And this opens this door. Save the game. Right, what's in here? Let me guess. More blocks, right? Let's see. 